Recall that demand shifted left. So the first shift that you're going to perform is the um, leftward shift in the demand curve. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to draw another demand curve that is parallel to the original demand curve and is immediately to the left. Notice that I have chosen a shift that is average in size. So I didn't choose a shift that was too big or too small. I went ahead and I did choose a medium sized shift. So this is our um, new demand curve, which I'm labeling D1. And now it's the turn to complete the shift of the supply curve. Recall that supply did shift to the right. So we have three choices here. We could shift the supply curve to the right in three different ways. In comparison with the size of shift in demand, we could have the supply curve shift, as I will show you now, which is a small size shift, something like this. I could also have the same supply curve shift about the same size than the shift in demand, which would be a situation like this or I could have the supply curve shift much more than the shift in demand, which would be a situation like this. I'm almost there. Which clearly is much bigger than the size of shift in demand. So we have three scenarios. The question is, which shift is the correct one? What kind of information do we have that is quantitative, that tells us that one of those three events was actually more influential than the others. We don't have that kind of information. So because we don't know from the given information which size of shift is bigger in comparison to the others, we're going to have to consider all scenarios. So we're going to have to consider same size, smaller size, and larger uh, size shifts in supply compared to demand.